بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي uh, Hello brothers and sisters how are you in today's lesson I would like to show you the most important uh, checks before making drawings and after making drawings in advance still uh, maybe uh, some of you when when you finish the model and you have uh, still you have many uh, many thing or many problems in your in your models or uh, there uh, sometimes the you sent me uh, or I, I, I receive uh, some some models some kind of models um, from the viewers and the fans from the page uh, that I see there there are some some some, some uh, mistakes in inside the model so so to avoid our, our this mistake and uh, so as not to affect on our, our, our quality of drawings and uh, fabrication process also uh, to do for today I want to uh, show you the most important checks and the causes uh, also uh, the solutions for each of one but before I want uh, before I start I want to ask you to like this video and to share and subscribe to my channel it helps me out a lot and uh, also I want to inform you that if you have any kind of projects uh, like a freelancer uh, you want me help you I can help you and I have no problem with that and you can contact me through my page or my uh, YouTube channel or uh, uh, also you can uh, contact me through my phone through WhatsApp anyhow so let's start uh, the m first one uh, that I have as is here yeah, guys uh, uh, from the home top we have this this kind of checking we have some some things here uh, for che model checking and checking it's, 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 a, it's a, a big issue in advance still because as we know uh, uh, sometimes when we, we are model maybe we uh, we have uh, some problems with the with the, with the clients any any kind of problems we have some, sometimes the the client sometimes the boss want you um, uh, the work in a, a, a small time a very uh, small time and uh, so maybe we we we, we made some some mistake so anyhow uh, the first one model check. Uh, what is the model check? Sometimes, sometimes we have a beam. We have we made a beam. Uh, for example, let's say uh, we make a beam here. Uh, we have a beam. Let's say three thousand. Okay. Here is is clear, guys. Here in this in this model because it's, it's a very small, very very small uh, thing. Uh, it will appear. Okay. Uh, we have this one. And sometimes if we have many many things many many kind of elements many kind of beams plates and uh, things like that uh, we are uh, when we make a shortening for this one for example let, let, let me make a shortening for this one uh, the the shortening value what I'm giving is more than more than it's it's uh, its length if uh, because this is the three meter if I say that 250 2050 uh, 2500 sorry 2000 2500 you see I can it will remain fi uh, 50 centimeters which is 500 millimeters okay so this is good but what about if I, I instead of, of 2500 I wrote it uh, down 3500 it will gone it will totally gone now here is uh, appear but when we have a huge model it will not appear so for that what I'm doing I will go to model check. As you see, we have two things. As you see, is uh, IST beam straight, which is we have uh, a straight beam. It gives us uh, a straight beam. We have a body cannot be calculated. There, there's no anybody, any surface, any solid. Uh, why? Because shortening cuts the entire object. Shortening cut cuts the entire object. So we have a shortening that cut cuts out all the objects. Okay, if I fix this one, uh, for example, uh, if I make uh, this one 2,500 uh, two, uh, and again model check, you see, now I have only one. I have only one, okay? As you see, when I'm double clicking here on it, 
still remain one. As you see here, this is a system, system line. And when if I if I change the the system uh, the, the the display type for that, uh, let's see what we have here. Only exact, symbolic, exact. Sometimes if if we change it to exact, it will show us only these points and these points and or this this cr uh, crosses in a huge model it will not be shown okay so that's why or maybe off okay anyhow it will give us so uh, when you double click it will uh, uh, zoom in here you can just check it double click uh, if it's like this no problem uh, you can just go to uh, display type uh, exact with edge features okay or features both are applicable but features uh, is better because uh, it gives us only this uh, system line and after that double click on it we can change for example 1000 so now we have this problem and this problem fixed let's go to model check again so we now we don't have model check bound zero errors you see this is the last step so this is about the model check. If you have sometimes we have a feature that uh, cut out all entire entire object. Uh, the second one, and it's also important one, is class checking. Class checking. What's the class checking? Sometimes we, when we have a plate in, in goes inside a beam, or a beam goes inside a beam, a beam goes inside uh, the column. So also this all all of it uh, is uh, calling and class checking or collision checking. Okay, we can name it as uh, this one also. So when I go to class checking, you see it found me uh, one class checking. By double clicking on it, it will give me so this this area will clash it. You see, so I can now if I go to conceptual, you see now this beam go inside that beam, so I can fix this beam also, even by making a cop or by making a connection between them if, if it's uh, this uh, weld connection of course I'll have to uh, make a cup uh, here and a cup here so I have uh, this problem also the third one I have is that sometimes if, if we look at uh, if you go to uh, top of view sorry if you go to top view you see this these two plates are the same exactly the same even if I put this one over that one, it's exactly the same. You can not find any difference between them. Hence, when you make a drawing, uh, numbering for that, for these two, it will give us two separate, two different or two different uh, name, plate one and plate two. Why? this is because sometimes sometimes uh, yeah it's exactly the same but here I have uh, these four holes but here what I have I have double it means that I made uh, these holes two twice if I delete one it will still remain one for now if I make another one uh, another uh, check uh, sorry uh, go to uh, numbering and number it again for sorry uh, yeah this num for now it gives me only one so both both uh, became one number and it's uh, as I said for for like this 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 model is easy to to find out the the, the problem but when we have a huge a huge model or a big model it's 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 difficult for us to find uh, that one so what's the solution for that the solution for that is go to audit just select this two well, by the way when i select it will uh, affect only on that selection one if i don't select it will affect entire the uh, the model entire the model okay so i select this two and go to audit as you see here uh, fix errors. Yes, I want to fix the errors. So I want to say yes. Int. As you see now, it gives me this warning message. Whole features, double features found, deleted. You see, double features found, uh, double feature found, deleted. So I have double. Uh, I, I had double uh, holes. And now, 
if I make uh, numbering for that output numbering you see everything is okay everything is okay so that's very good again another kind of or another, another uh, t kind of ch checking is technical checking what's the technical checking as you see here I have I have this this beam and when I check make um, when I check technical mm, gives me the problems and what's this as you see here I have a bolt this bolt is 24 millimeters 24 millimeters okay so the edge distance the edge this distance distance should be 1.5 uh, uh, times that okay so uh, the 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 clear spacing the, the, the or this spacing the edge spacing the edge distance the edge distance is small so how can I solve it uh, just select the, the bolt right click if it's bolt if it's connection we have to change it in the uh, connection advanced properties and what I go to I will go to distance and change this one to 300 by 300 because uh, my plate is 400 by 400 so now the edge distance became 5 uh, centimeters which is 50 and now I uh, check technical checking you see there's no checking there's no uh, sorry there's no error okay and this is very very good one uh, another thing sometimes when, when we when we make drawing or when we make a uh, numbering uh, it will give us the uh, duplicate number so maybe this one is beam one and this uh, one also beam one or maybe this one plate one and this plate one also and they are these two they are different okay so we have to check for that one also uh, by go to uh, where I can find that I can go to output uh, here uh, uh, this identify but the first one is is check for duplicate part number as you can select no duplicate part numbers uh, found but when I have it will give me uh, duplicate number so uh, this uh, good also again uh, or another one another one what I have I have part without number part without number sometimes when I when I if uh, especially in uh, in like uh, when I for example I select everything for this one okay uh, I'll select everything and make uh, make numbering okay that's good but this one I didn't select this one when we go to numbering it will not it's not numbered so what I can do I can go to uh, for mark without number mark parts without number it will mark me this one this without number by the way what's this number uh, here we have a single part if we say uh, this is switched to single part it will give it give me a uh, single part for example uh, let me double click it uh, numbered uh, let me uh, give a number for single part let's say uh, this is uh, C1 for example okay this is single part but the, uh, the main part we don't have a number again when we go to uh, the same problem uh, or let me uh, unmark all go to uh, part uh, mark parts without number this time it doesn't mark anything why because I have single part for this one and this switch to single part so that's why it will not give me but when I switch for the simple part and again I say uh, mark parts without number it means park uh, mark parts without assembly number because this is assembly if it's a single it means uh, mark parts without single number single part number okay so anyhow let me ch check this one and uh, again you see we can uh, solve this, this problem anyhow if we define first because we have to define a uh, defined part number uh, because it's uh, only assembly now we defined uh, assembly and part number for, uh, for uh, this time as you see here mark it will mark us this one because uh, now became 
an assembly number, but assembly number has no part number. Again, uh, this is uh, very good. Another cool thing we have, another th uh, cool thing we have, uh, park uh, or, or mark lose part. Let me let me uh, show you this one first. What's lose parts? Let me mark lose parts. Nine lose part uh, single parts have found. Okay, you see, lose parts means that the parts that that not connected to to to, to uh, or maybe shop or uh, it will not connect it or there's no welding and, and so on. Okay, so let me first select them and go to show only that one as you see here we have this is loose part uh, as we know this uh, we we, uh, we can uh, skip, skip this one why because uh, these are uh, uh, beams connected with, with these bolts but how about if I have a plate here for example let me uh, sometimes when if uh, uh, sometimes then let me make a, a plate yeah a plate here no problem okay so I have a plate here sometimes uh, uh, sometimes I have a plate uh, which is not connect or uh, I forget it or uh, you forget it to to make weld uh, this one and after that I will go to uh, lose part number now it became 10 okay what's the part I don't know because we consider that we have a huge uh, model so go to uh, here mark select uh, everything and after that go to display and display uh, show selected or only select assembly you see we have this plate so it gives us this plate we have to uh, make a weld for that one the solution is, is very easy for that uh, we change back uh, the whole model and if uh, as you see I made this one with uh, that connect but uh, anyhow no problem you can if uh, you made with a uh, plate you can just select these two and uh, go to from home tab uh, sorry object tab you can make a weld just between these two and uh, the problem will be solved okay that's very good another cool thing sometimes sometimes when you have a, ho uh, uh, a model this is a very very cool thing and it's very very useful okay this is very useful tip uh, sometimes uh, you finish the model but maybe the, the, the your your client uh, your your boss or your client asks uh, asks you to to give him only one frame one frame weight okay for example we have uh, a very huge uh, model and uh, it, uh, they ask him as to only give us uh, and give them to only this one frame one frame simple okay so how can I, uh, we can, how can I solve th uh, this problem? I can just select it. It doesn't need to uh, make numbering and doesn't it make uh, make uh, drawing gears after that or making B of Q, B of Q. Uh, we just select these three, okay? And we go to home from the checking, go to assembly weight information and it gives us here, okay? this is the and the, the the weight for 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 this one and also we can after that if you want to uh, see uh, which element is connected to that one it's pretty easy just go to uh, select mark object and after that select only uh, marked object you see now we have this one this assembly and if you want to check again you can do it no problem go to uh, and check uh, the model okay so this is the, the, the model uh, weight uh, sorry if this is one frame uh, model okay uh, the last t thing or the last check that I want to show you for today is making drawings or, or drawings so when when uh, when you have a, a model 
and you make some some drawings and uh, you, you maybe you forget that which one you made drawings and which one not uh, what you can check or what you can check you can just go to uh, project explorer and go to model browser from here as you see uh, we have only these three right click insert column we can uh, and drawings and uh, we can add whatever we want uh, drawings and go to drawing number as you see for this one we don't have any any kind of drawings but let me show you this one okay go to let me bring back all the drawing uh, all the model okay I will make a, a drawing for that one for example go to output what kind of drawing I don't, I don't care uh, let me go to assembly assembly beam we see now Okay, let me make maybe for this one and this one also. Anyhow, I don't care about the, the drawing style, no problem. Okay, so now I made uh, two drawings. If you see here, I made two drawings. Okay, again, I want to go back to uh, model browser drawing is refresh it and this is sort sort by 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 single part insert drawing Sorry. okay so uh, we see here we don't have any uh, kind of drawing number why because this is a uh, sort by single part if we look at this one we did uh, we don't uh, we don't make uh, as you see uh, we made a simple drawing and this is uh, these are a simple drawing so uh, for this we have a simple drawing but but a single part drawing we don't have uh, so how can I check this again we can go to model browse and make change or change this one to sort by assembly drawing as you see here the assembly drawing we have these two drawings for this beam and when you click it will select for you okay so this by assembly so uh, this is shows us that this may we made we made uh, what we made we made assembly drawing for this but if we go to a uh, simple single part we didn't make any kind of drawing and uh, this is a good uh, check also after making drawings and this is all for today uh, guys hope you enjoyed don't forget to like sh share this video and subscribe to my channel so and also uh, click on the bell button so uh, you get notif uh, notification when uh, i upload any new videos thank you very much